Another very interesting week in EU where a lot of people seem to beat everyone. I thought this was the week Rocket and Giants completely fall off the face of the earth and go boo all the way down the no. standings. But again, they continue to hey, prove me wrong. They held their they own. Pretty solid. Uh, top of the standings, Vitality. You can't really argue anyone else. They had a 70-minute game almost against uh, Rock Hat that they won because of a Varus TP <laughs> unsealed spellbook. What a great meta. A lot of questions into that 70-minute win. Not their best of their seven wins so far on this season. But yeah, no arguments here. Vitality with Jazuki, Mini True Packs, the rookie. They're all looking so great. This is a team that is anchored with their coach. I, again, we bring it up a lot, Yamato Cannon. This guy, I think you can't underestimate the impact and veteran status that he has brought to this team and the way that they prepare. The team Vitality, number one, European power rankings. Get used to hearing that one. And it looks like the old gods are coming. G2 and Fnatic both with another 2-0 week. Uh, they're up to 5-3. and three. They're in spots 2-3. and three. You throw G2 ahead. I just think they've looked a little bit more controlled uh, in the majority of their games, they've, they've had some fiestas, no doubt. I mean, that that Shulka game was, oh boy. I don't know if I quite <laughs> evolved that to a fiesta, but it was a crazy game that they definitely had a chance of losing. Yeah, it's definitely, you know, if you're in the Vitality Yellow Lamborghini, you're keeping that rear view mirror really close and looking back at who's, who's coming up behind you because the old guard is right there. G2 Esports, Fnatic, they are gunning for your top spot. I think that G2, you know, arguably were not as strong as Fnatic this weekend, but I still think that they are, you know, a better team overall. But I think that this is coming up again, as we talk about with, you know, a TSM C9 matchup heading into this weekend in North America. When you look on the European side, G2 Esports is definitely gonna have to have a big week to take over Team Vitality if you ever wanna be there in the number one spot because, hey, they didn't look so great in their victories. They were victories and picking them up again, that five and three record. But I wanna see more from the old guard before I start putting them ahead of Team Vitality. Yeah, and G2 takes on Vitality in week five. So it's gonna go a long way in shaping the power rankings. Uh, Giants, I thought they'd slide down a lot. They, they slid down one spot because uh, Fnatic were able to handle them pretty easily in their matchup, but Giants still come away with a one and run, one record and they're still looking pretty solid. Definitely still a team that has been able to produce and get the results they need to have to stay competitive here in the European LCS and definitely one that, you know, heading towards the midpoint, would not have expected them to stay up there. So definitely some good, strong signs from them early so far. Uh, the middle of the standings, we got a mess of teams at four and four, but uh, coming out on the top of the mall is Rockat because they played in that 70 minute mess <laughs> against Vitality. They should have won that game. They really should have. The TP Varus, come on, that is, oh. that's not fair. And uh, they destroyed Misfits. Here's the thing. The broadcast was saying they got a perfect game against Misfits. Misfits got a Rift Herald. Yeah, that's fake news, not a perfect game. Yeah, I, I don't think a Rift getting a Rift Herald, I think that ruins a perfect game. That does. So. You, you got to keep it a complete zero on one side on across the board. Uh, Sorry, guys. Not a perfect game in our eyes. Not a perfect game, but they played pretty much perfectly. Yeah, that's why they're climbing up three spots into that fifth spot. Shulka, again, they probably could have beat G2. They maybe should have. Definitely Nuka had a chance. busting out the LeBlanc. I mean, poof. <laughs> That's an interesting champion to be playing in this meta, but he made it look good. He was looking pretty good, but just, you know, just too close to getting nuked. Nuke Duck almost had it. Uh, not enough, and again, Splice bringing up the rear hero of the four and four teams. Uh, you just haven't seen what we want to see from what we know this team should be capable of with the roster pieces that they have. Just haven't been able to get everything working on the same page, and you feel like it's a lot of wasted potential. Yeah, it's... You're just still, you're waiting. You're like, oh, this is going to be where they prove what they're actually capable of. But I mean, Odawamne's still not performing at the level we expect. He's it's... looking maybe like one of the worst top laners in Europe, which is something that I would not have even guessed in my darkest he's, dreams here to come into this He's bottom three, I would say. Uh, yeah, definitely. And then eight spot, look at this. That is a tumble oh. down six Yikes. spots. The bunny rabbits falling down. The rabbits have fallen down the rabbit hole, Alice in Wonderland. Oh, this is the bad bunny hole, though. This you don't want to go down here. You don't want to go down here. This is the upside down from Stranger Things. <laughs> uh, Misfits, again, 
They don't get perfect game by Rocket. They get a Rift Herald, so. Yeah, I get it. guys. <laughs> That's worth something, I guess. Uh, and then, listen, they had what people might have thought was a relatively easy schedule coming into week four. Giants and Rocket get destroyed by Rocket. And Giants, I mean, they turn around a pretty. That was a very even game, but Misfits had like a 10,000 gold lead yeah. almost in that game. They when you blow can't it. blow, you can't let that slip, you no. know. Max you just... Lore on Rengar, We're, we'll get to him a little oh. bit in a little bit, Man. but uh, he looked bad on the Rengar. That is one bad kitty, and not a bad kitty in that it's demolishing and murdering all of your team. It's a bad kitty because that bad kitty is feeding and not getting any objectives for your team. And Senkux continues to be a legitimate concern on that Misfit squad. If they want to be a top team contending for an EU LCS title, I think yeah, he's going to be a bit of a question mark, an issue for them. Right, this was someone that we thought that, you know, would have big shoes to fill in stepping in for Power of Evil, but someone who could bring something else to the table for Misfits hasn't brought it to the table whatsoever so far. Quit, quit holding out on your teammates, bring it on. Uh, bottom two, Unicorns of Love actually looked competitive in their games, that's why they're number nine. H2K doesn't look like they belong in the LCS. Maybe not even the challenger scene right now. Oh. I don't know what's going on there. I thought this team had playoff potential. Uh, they're lucky relegations are gone because they couldn't beat anyone right yeah, now. Yeah, this is a team that you and, I, you and I both are definitely wrong about our predictions coming into this season and what we thought H2K would be possible of. Unicorns of Love, congratulations. You're holding on to that ninth spot. You're doing okay in ninth. Woo. Only because H2K is such a dumpster fire, in my opinion. I don't know what they're thinking. They pick up Selfie, some guy, a guy that we've talked about with a lot of praise and that we are excited to see get another shot, and Selfie did okay. You know who did not do okay? Kadriel in the jungle was absolutely a mess. This guy absolutely brought you nothing that you wanted over, say, Santorn. Whoa. Whoa. It was not good. Kadriel actually had 100% kill participation and 100% kill share for H2K in yeah. week four, one. Yeah. You they know, had one kill in two games. Again, it's not like Santorin was some monster or doing special things. He was, he was playing AFK. He was playing pretty passive for H2K. But playing pretty passive was better than feeding and not absolutely doing anything. I, I, I'm, like, I'm, hard, I'm sorry to be hard on KGO for this, but it was absolutely maybe one of the worst performances we've seen on the LCS stage. And it's one of those changes where you're like, you didn't have to make this change. Why? You could have, you know, running a Santorin and Selfie type of experiment at least for a week. That probably would have been better than switching Kadriel into off-road jungle. I don't understand. Uh, the team has said that's something Kadriel wanted to do. Is go well, to the who jungle, cares what but... he wants to do because it's not what's best for the team. Santorin I don't not understand. on the squad anymore, by the way. He's, a, he's yeah. a free agent now. So H2K is a mess. A lot they, of questions for you, H2K. I, I'm taking Golden Guardians in a best of series against H2K. I would absolutely take them. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more esports content.